Coming up on this special edition of Out of the Blue, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam was among the special guests and hundreds of supporters on campus for last month's grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony for the long awaited MTSU Science Building. This spectacular state of the art facility boasts more than 250,000 square feet of space and represents $147 million investment to the Blue Raider campus. Stay tuned for a close up look at this historical moment for the entire campus community. Hello and welcome to a special edition of Out of the Blue. I'm Chris Davis. MTSU President Sidney A. McPhee has called it the crown jewel of a growing campus at Middle Tennessee State University. The new MTSU Science Building welcomes students to campus for the start of the fall semester, almost six months ahead of schedule, following more than a decade of work by university officials, state lawmakers, and a host of Blue Raider supporters. With a focus on collaborative learning and research, the new facility features six teaching lecture halls, 13 research laboratories, and 36 teaching laboratories, just for starters. Needless to say, students have been thrilled with the three-story building, which will be used by 80% of MTSU students at some point in their higher education journey. Here are some of the highlights from this special moment in MTSU history. Ladies and gentlemen, for so many years, the building we were standing here today was just an abstract thought, abstract concept, but better yet, a hope and a dream. It was the number one priority for this university prior to my arrival in 2001. There had been no increase in space for science education. In the years to follow, it became the number one capital project priority for all of the state higher education system and all agreed that MTSU's growth, teaching, research, and service, and its mission required this facility. Yet, year after year, despite the best of intention, it never materialized. But today, here we're in this $147 million state of art center for teaching and research that will define MTSU's second century of service to the people of this great state. How did it happen? Simply put, this magnificent building would have never materialized if it were not for the leadership of our governor that you will hear from in a moment. Uh, he, when he was elected, he began the discussion and he said to us, we need to stop talking and start constructing. That happened, ladies and gentlemen. The support of key legislative leaders, I mentioned earlier, our delegation uh, and others, and the persistence of our delegation, local, our city mayor, and our county mayor. In 2011, Governor Haslam recognized our role as the leading provider of graduate for the greater Nashville workforce. He included it in the funding for this, this project in his budget, and the rest, my friends, is now history. The science building is critical to our continuing efforts to provide Tennessee with a workforce equipped for the challenges of the 21st century, particularly in science, technology, engineering, and math. About 80% of our 23, 24,000 students will be taking a class in this building. Our new science building provides a space for inspiration. This space will inspire learning, thinking, that will only bolster our economy, but improve the quality of our lives through innovation and imagination. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we make history with the formal opening of this long-awaited facility. As students, faculty, and others use this incredible facility, we will build a great future for this state and for the nation. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce a friend of this state, the governor of the great state of Tennessee, Governor Bill Haslam.
Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. This is a really big day. Do you know how you know it's a big day? The sky boxes are full. <laughs> this is a uh, significant day, and as, as you gathered from listening to Dr. McPhee, it's one that a lot of people have been working on for a long time before we ever showed up on the scene. And right when I started showing up on the scene, Dr. McPhee uh, started working on me in a very aggressive manner. When I was still a governor wannabe, I was running for governor, and uh, I uh, was invited to come to a basketball game at MTSU, and I thought that was great. So Dr. and Mrs. McPhee had us, had me, had Chrissy and I come to the game, and we're sitting there. Silly me, I thought I was there to see a basketball game. <laughs> I learned I was there to hear all about a science building and how critical it was to the future of the state. Uh, but I say that uh, with a great deal of respect. That's how leadership happens, is people commit themselves to a goal, and they work at it relentlessly. Uh, and Dr. McPhee and the MTSU uh, family didn't just work on me. Uh, they, had, uh, they also made certain that uh, your legislative delegation uh, was actively engaged. And so from Representative White and Representative Carr and Representative Sparks and Senator Tracy and Senator Ketron, I never, ever sat down with them when uh, MTSU and the Science Building didn't come up. But I want to tell you something. Uh, we, they talked about the fact that this was the number one priority of the state for a while. It had kind of been in line. It was its turn. But we didn't decide to fund this building because it was its turn. We decided to fund this building because it's the right thing for the state of Tennessee. This is a really great time to be true blue. But it's also a really, really critical time to be true blue. Everybody knows about the growth that's happening in Middle Tennessee, kind of in the heart of this school's market, if you will, and all of the Nashville and the, the surrounding uh, counties and the growth that's happening there is kind of almost unprecedented in our state history. But what it means is there is a lot more uh, population that needs a quality education beyond high school. As you will know, one of our biggest goals is what we call a drive to 55, a, a move to have 55% of our population have a degree beyond high school, either a two-year degree, a four-year degree, or te technology school certificate. If we're going to get there, and we have to get there, because if we don't, there will be a lot of jobs in Tennessee that go unfilled. There will be a lot of Tennesseans that don't have employment. But if we're going to get there, uh, MTSU is a critical piece of that. It just makes sense because of MTSU's role in this state. And if we're going to attract those jobs we want, we have to be a state uh, that is deep in science talent. Uh, and the people that are impacted through this building have a bigger role than just, I'm taking a science class at MTSU, but you're part of what we're, where we're driving the state. So uh, I appreciate all the nice accolades, but the reality is uh, we owe you a degree of thanks, uh, and then we owe you a challenge. Uh, we thank you because of the way that you have pressed hard on this. I want to thank also all the people that were a part of the local match. As you know, when, when, when the state funds buildings, we don't fund them totally. We say, okay, school, you have to come up with your own commitment to show that you have people that have skin in the game. And thanks to a lot of generous uh, friends of MTSU, that happened. So we thank you, uh, but we also challenge you. Uh, if Tennessee is going to be the state that is ready uh, for the future that awaits us, MTSU plays a critical role. And this building and the preparation of students for the STEM disciplines is right at the heart of that. So uh, we congratulate you, uh, and we look forward to being your partner for years to come. And uh, I, I, I was in, I, I'll, I'll end with this. I, was, I didn't know the number you said, about 80% of the students on campus will take a class in this building. Uh, that makes it even more critical as you look at the future of the state. So congratulations. It is a great day to be True Blue. Thanks. Our department has been anxiously awaiting this new building for a long time, even before I came to MTSU. They'd been hoping to get a new facility. Our old facilities were not adequate for the kind of things we were trying to do, the kind of teaching we were trying to do, and the kind of research we were trying to do. So we're super excited about the new science building. My colleagues who have been here for much longer than me tell me that they've been waiting for this building for about 15 years. So uh, it's, it's been a long time coming, and uh, actually it's been worth the wait. Um, we've, uh, since we've moved in, I've uh, really begun to appreciate exactly how much this is going to change science education at MTSU. I am True Blue. As a member of this diverse community, I am a valuable contributor to its progress and success. I am engaged in the life of this community. I am a recipient and a giver. I am a listener and a speaker. 
I am honest in word and deed. I'm committed to reason, not violence. I am a learner, now and forever. I am a Blue Raider. I am a Blue Raider. I'm a Blue Raider. True Blue. At Middle Tennessee State University, we are devoted to student success. We offer the advantages of a major comprehensive university with the care and attention found at a small college. We are a community that believes in learning, growth, and service. We hold these values dear, and there's a simple phrase that conveys them. I am true blue. I am true blue. I am true blue. Being a Blue Raider takes more than just coming ready to play. A Blue Raider doesn't just leave it all on the field. It's not just a matter of simply fighting for every inch. At their very core, a Blue Raider is true. Are you? Middle Tennessee celebrates 100 years of football this season. Rise up. Let them hear you in Floyd. Season tickets on sale now. Go BlueRaiders.com slash tickets. The world is changing every day, but the skills that matter will never change. The abilities to create, to think critically, to influence and inspire. Alongside a premier faculty and award-winning peers, broaden your world at the College of Liberal Arts at Middle Tennessee State University. Welcome back to this special edition of Out of the Blue. I'm your host, Chris Davis. We'll continue to look at last month's grand opening ceremony for the new MTSU Science Building, held in the newly named Liz and Creighton Ray Atrium. I often thought of uh, the scenario of MTSU being kind of the middle child. Our good neighbor and friend to the east in Knoxville was always the firstborn and kind of the big brother of the family and all the other institutions of higher ed where the other siblings always come to the table to try to get a, a, a piece or, or some part of the meal. Because when it comes down to funding, everybody comes trying to get a bite. Um, former president, three presidents removed now, his big brother, came down from Connecticut, University of Tennessee, hired Dr. Peterson, John Peterson. Dr. Peterson came in with an idea from Connecticut that UT needs to up their game and, and come into the next level and be a research facility uh, in the top 10 or 12 percentile universities in the country, and that's where he wanted to be. Well, he got wind of this large, expansive uh, building of science and research that we were, we've had on the books for some time and trying to get it up that pipeline. The building commission pipeline was, we had inched our way up. The middle child was always being nice and helping the other ones get their piece, but we'd inch our way up and we were just being nice and, and help everybody uh, get their amount of money. Well, Dr. Peterson didn't think that that was quite appropriate. He wanted all the money. Um, and so he said in the media he called this building that we're in today the big gorilla and we didn't need all that money it needed to be distributed uh, mainly to, to Knoxville and so Dr. McPhee and Jess he was just being nice about it they all had a meeting higher education THAC and he brought he brought in this large stuffed gorilla <laughs> and set it in a table and scoot it up to the table and all the presidents are supposed to sit around and, and he told Dr. Peterson, the gorilla has a seat at this table. <laughs> Dr. Peterson didn't like that. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Dr. McPhee, I hope you still have that because I think we have a lot of stuff, stuffed animals here in the building you'll see on your tour and we probably need to be reminded of, of the stuffed gorilla because uh, at that point in time, Dr. Peterson started playing politics. And um, I went to a building commission meeting one morning, and we had gotten to number two, and we were next on the list. And then all of a sudden on the list, MTSU Science Building was gone. I was going, what the heck is going on? They said it was a mistake, but you know, at that point in time is when our delegation representing this school became solidified. 
and we became the real live gorilla, John Hood included. Now, many of you in education have heard the term STEM, science, education, technology, um, engineering, and mathematics. MTSU is on the verge of putting an A in and changing the name to STEAM, the A representing agriculture. So when you take your tour, go up on the second floor of the building and you can see what is already happening in this building. And we've only been here since August. But the researchers have been attracted here because of the tools that are in this building. There's a debate on how many years we've been waiting for this building, but last night, the longest I heard was the first person worked on it was in 1992, I believe. So it's been since 92. I came aboard in uh, two years ago and was told get the building done and, and today is really a culmination of work of the faculty, staff, students, facilities, the legislature, Dr. McPhee, all coming together to create this outstanding building. Uh, this new facility, as you have heard, was a long time coming for MTSU uh, and for the board uh, and really for higher education capital funding in Tennessee. It was an ambitious project led by an ambitious team for an ambitious university. And now it's a remarkable reality. As was noted, once the project was funded, it was delivered ahead of schedule and under budget, and congratulations to everyone involved. The building is iconic in style and function. Its beauty lies not only in aesthetics, but in its potential to impact the lives of many, many students working with extraordinary faculty that all will enjoy this facility and those benefits for years to come. Today, Governor, each of our Board of Regents institutions with MTSU at the forefront is genuinely focused on meeting the state's goal to increase the number of college graduates. This science building will help position the board and its leadership uh, position, leadership role to fulfill the drive to 55. Short, uh, in short, um, if we are to achieve the drive to 55, it's because the Tennessee Board of Regents and his institutions are successful. If we're not, it's going to be awful hard to get there. We understand that and we are committed to that goal. Students who come to this building will have access to state-of-the-art facilities, and I would suggest to you access to world-class programs taught by world-class faculty. So on behalf of the Tennessee Board of Regents, again, I congratulate MTSU and everyone involved to make this historic day possible. Thank you very much. Being a Blue Raider takes more than just coming ready to play. A Blue Raider doesn't just leave it all on the field. It's not just a matter of simply fighting for every inch. At their very core, a Blue Raider is true. Are you? Middle Tennessee celebrates 100 years of football this season. Rise up. Let them hear you in Floyd. Season tickets on sale now. Go to Raiders.com slash tickets. Do you want to make a difference? Make an impact in your world? The College of Behavioral and Health Sciences is centered around service. We want you to get out of the classroom and learn by meeting the needs all around us. Make a difference at the College of Behavioral and Health Sciences at Middle Tennessee State University. Middle Tennessee State University's Department of Concrete Industry Management provides students with hands-on learning in the country's flagship concrete degree program. MTSU's vast alumni network and extensive internship opportunities lead students to high-paying jobs directly after graduation. This is just one community among many. Explore all that MTSU has to offer. Devoted to student success, Middle Tennessee State University. My name is Andrew Willoughby. I am an aerospace major with a concentration in professional pilot. I did an honors thesis project on commercial pilot maneuvers and, and their importance. The most significant things that led me to continue in honors was 
be the fact that I needed something to set me apart from everybody in the industry. I've talked to a few companies that come to our career fairs, and I know several companies said, you've done a thesis, we really want to see that. And so they're already interested in my work as uh, an honor student. Welcome back to this special edition of Out of the Blue. We wrap up our look at the grand opening of the MTSU Science Building with final thoughts from guest speakers and faculty about how this new facility will better educate students as the university enters its second century of service. The faculty and the students at MTSU are very grateful to everyone who has worked so hard to make this day a reality. It was a long time in the making, going back at least 20 years. The late beloved chemistry professor Gail Clark, who himself has been honored today um, with a generous donation by his wife, Ailey Clark, served on the building planning committee a long time before I even joined MTSU. Gail was always a force for good, and I know he would be very proud to see this day. Dr. Brad Bartell asked four faculty two from chemistry and two from biology, to serve as shepherds of the new building, assuming shared roles that Dr. Stephen Wright in biology had previously shouldered alone. Amy Jaton, who's teaching right now, <laughs> and Dennis Mullen from biology, and Preston McDougall and I in chemistry, began organizing and coordinating countless spreadsheets and room plans. We were joined by champions who worked very hard, often with very short deadlines in their own areas of expertise. And we thank all of the champions and all of the members of the science building team. The groundbreaking had already occurred in the fall of 2012 uh, as the Department of Chemistry hired a new chair, Dr. Greg Van Patten. The, the Department of Biology also hired a new chair, Dr. Lynn Boyd and the College of Basic and Applied Sciences hired a new dean, Dr. Bud Fisher. Doctors Fisher, Van Patten, and Boyd deserve the highest praise for showing great patience and leadership along the way. They got up to speed, being thrust right into the midst of it, and did an outstanding job. The first day of classes, which started back in August, Dr. Fisher, who had, in fact, camped out in this building for a month, he, he was standing right here in the atrium and he asked me to describe this building in one word. And I thought for a few seconds and I decided that the word was inspiring. The building is inspiring for faculty and for students. For many faculty, the building offers finally the necessary equipment and space to pursue cutting edge research, full steam ahead. And the teaching and learning classrooms and laboratories are clean, well-equipped, bright, functional, and safe. There's many learning spaces situated throughout the building, little alcoves and corners, open areas, including the beautiful second floor mezzanine. Students are free to sit and work on homework, to study alone or in groups, to socialize and eat. I watched the student behavior at the beginning of the semester with some curiosity and, and amusement. They were not sure what to make of it all. Uh, is it okay if I work here? <laughs> is this for us? It only took two weeks' time and students colonized these areas, moving in to fill the literal niches. Um, in the old days, in the old building, when I wanted to work with students, I had to move into the hallway and sit on the floor. I'm so very happy to say I don't have to sit on the floor anymore. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> now our students are fully equipped to compete with other students, any other student anywhere in the country, for jobs in the sciences, for placement in professional schools, and acceptance into graduate programs. And students with majors outside of chemistry and biology will take classes in this building to prepare them as informed citizens, ready to take on an economy and a society where scientific literacy will only grow in importance. This beautiful building is a magnet for recruiting students and new faculty. We need no longer apologize for existing poor facilities and merely offer promises of future construction. The 21st century future is here, now. 
Two weeks ago, the sciences played host to more than 100 fourth graders from Cedar Grove Elementary School. They, they came to look at the new building and to enjoy a few minutes of hands-on activities. And afterwards, one of the little girls said, this is where I'm going to go to college. I'm going to MTSU. And then she looked at me real serious and she said, will you still be here? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how old she thought I was. <laughs> but I looked right back at her and I said, yes, sweetheart, I sure will be. This is a very happy day for MTSU students and faculty, and we are genuinely, deeply grateful to everyone who's made this possible. Thank you. The building has been fabulous for our department. It has increased our teaching space by a significant amount. We have uh, approximately eight more teaching labs than we had before. We have uh, really wonderful research facilities that's allowing the faculty to do research at the level that they're capable of. We're very excited about all of those things happening. It's also allowing us to do some experimental things in the classroom, uh, blending uh, lectures and labs because of the new configurations of the labs and the, uh, the additional class space that it, uh, it gives us. So uh, it's really allowing our, our professors to experiment with their, uh, their pedagogies and uh, I'm really excited to see what the results will be after this first semester. First off, I'd like to thank everybody who had a hand in creating this building. It is a great opportunity to be here right now speaking in front of you. As a freshman, when I first walked into the Weiser Patton building in 2011, <laughs> it took me a while to get used to my surroundings. I remember walking into a crowded Chemistry One lab with little to no natural light, no places to study, and shoulder to shoulder next to my lab partner. So when I heard that a new building in, was being made for 2014, directly made for sciences, I was thinking, what are the changes? What are they gonna do? So when I got here and I stepped through the doors for the first time, I was blown away. The building looks stunning inside and out, but really it's inside that makes me believe that this is the best equipped building on campus. Within the building, there are broad open lobbies and study rooms, student-based classrooms and technology everywhere. The lobbies are always full of students relaxing, hanging out, or just heading to their next class. And within the classrooms, students are no longer crowded. They no longer have to strain to see the board or to hear the teachers because of the new technology. And each classroom is like walking into the future. Everything is advanced, works perfectly, and most importantly, is directed at us students. So I want to thank MTSU and everybody who had a hand in this because I don't believe that you guys have made, could have made this any bit better. Thank you. And that's it for this special edition of Out of the Blue. For more information on MTSU News, be sure to go to mtsunews.com. Until next time, stay true blue.